Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got an Xbox original, the first model of the Xbox series released in the late 2001. This is almost a computer made to be a gaming console, featuring a customized Pentium 3. I got this one on a cheap deal, but it sold for parts or not working and didn't come with any controller or any cables. As you can see, it is in a decent shape for its age, with no major marks or scratches. To test this console and begin the project, I have to buy the rest of the components. First, a controller, in this case the S model, the AV cable and of course the power cable I also bought two games to test it out and of course have some fun so after test the console and it seems all good it's now time to start this project as always have a seat relax and join me in one more adventure stick around As always, first we're gonna take it apart to get access to all the components. When managed, open power supplies take care. They could hurt you even if unplugged.
With the console done, it's now time to take the controller apart. Also gonna need to remove the Xbox badge on the top case of the console. And with all the parts disassembled, it's now time to begin the cleaning process. First, we're gonna wash all the plastic parts to get them ready for some color. With all wash done, we can now prepare the plastics for the painting. And for an original Xbox, of course I have to choose green. In this case, lemon green. After a few coats, this is the result. Now, while the paint is drying, we can start the cleaning process for the rest of the components. At this point, I stop scrubbing the chip to remove the oil thermal paste. It is really really hard and I don't feel comfortable scrubbing an old chip like this, so let's move on.
clean the cables and get them tied up, it is also important. And with all the parts cleaned and the paint already dry, it is time to take this console back together again. Let's start! First, the top and bottom case with the metal shields. After that the front panel assembly and next the cooling fan. We can now install and secure the motherboard and after that the power supply. Next the controller ports. After the controller ports we can secure the hard drive and the disk drive and install them in the bottom case of the console. Next the top case. Now, on the bottom case, reinstall the rubber fits. I also made a sticker that was damaged at the beginning of the video. And of course, we can't forget the Xbox patch on the top case. For the final, we can now reassemble the controller. The Xbox logo on the controller get damaged uh, when I remove it, so I try make a new and modern one. So I printed a logo in normal paper and with a couple coats of nail varnish, it looks really good. And we're done.
this is it, a completely restored and working Xbox Classic. The green takes this console to a whole new level. It really pops the X mark on the case and gives it some X factor too. The controller also looks really good on the lemon green color and with a modern X logo on the top. The final touch for this project was sent to me as a gift from Ricardo Azevedo from the Xbox Original Portugal Facebook group. It's an original Xbox DVD remote control. Pretty cool. Thank you, Ricardo. Now, the only thing left to do is plug it in and have some fun. Let's play some games. And this is all for today. I hope you like this lemon green project. I think the result is really cool. As always, if you want to see more, please consider subscribe, leave a like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.